it was like four years ago when we stood here in January of 2018 and debuted the first film. And now we're back, you know, Best Picture Oscar nomination a billion dollars later. What do you remember the most about that night? About that very night. You know, it, premieres are always, are always the moment where you, you, obviously, you unveil it to the world. And up until that point, it was this really important thing that we thought we were trying to put together and that Ryan Coogler poured his heart and soul into. And it was this night and this carpet, even before, frankly, the movie played, that it felt like, oh, this is, this is connecting. And, and the, the marketing, of course, was, was incredible up to that point in this. And then the screening itself. So it feels, it feels, as you even say, for, in some ways it feels like yesterday, in some ways 2018 to all of us feels like 120 years ago. So it's just like a, a million years ago. Of course, this movie is a true tribute to Chadwick Boseman and his legacy, both you know, on screen and off as, as a man. Now, what does it mean to you to, to be a part of carrying that legacy forward, to see so many people here to celebrate him? Um, I, I think I even understand like some of his family is here tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's an honor. You know, there, there was an event called D23 a month or so ago, and Chad was honored as a Disney legend, and I got to meet his whole family there um, for, for the first time. I just feel very lucky and thankful that I got to have him in my life for the short time that I did and more importantly that he did at such a young age such a body of work that that it will that it will last forever and generation after generation after generation will get to get to feel his presence you mentioned Ryan the the incredible and talented young Ryan Coogler uh, who's actually just right behind you um, on your left there <laughs> But um, what, what about his talent and, and the way that he uh, created this movie stands out to you? Yeah, much, huh? Oh, my God. She's asking me, what about your talent? What was the question? Your talent and, and the way that you created this movie what? stands out to you. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. You don't, you don't what about my well the genius? No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> You're not allowed to say it in front of him. Humility comes to mind. Humility comes to mind. No, he's, he's one of the best people I've ever met, one of the best filmmakers I've ever, maybe the best person I've ever met. It's just hyperbole. It's just hyperbole, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just hyperbole. But, 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 but real talk. You know what, don't just turn it back on me. That's not, that's not the, she asked about you. Incredible producer. <laughs> incredible. Incredible. Like, you know, made a space for us on the first one and made an even bigger space for us on this one. He didn't have to do that. So, thank you, sir. Wait, I didn't have to do it? No, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> you didn't have to. But thank four you, years sir. ago, the first movie, four years ago. Yeah. 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 As you anyway, look. He's the best. You already know that. No, thank truly, you. truly the best. <laughs> as, you, as you look ahead from tonight, you know, obviously there are expectations, there are questions, there are secrets. You know, what is your greatest hope? for Wakanda Forever as the, as the audience at home finally gets a chance to see it. I wanted to touch people the way the first film did, and I want them to, to really experience the multi-generational story that, he's, uh, that he, Mr. Kugler, uh, has put together. And that, and that there is an entire, and you've seen this in some of the marketing, I'm sure you've spoken to people, there's an entire other kingdom that we meet in this movie that has been at the core of the Marvel mythology since the late 30s with Namor. And Ryan has ha focused in on that during the making of the first movie, where he said, wouldn't it be great to bring in this other kingdom? And what he's done with Namor and with that kingdom, I can't wait for audiences to see.